everyone, my name is Desola, I'm a fashion designer, and you are welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel, welcome to Daisy's Wardrobe. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're an existing subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. And if you've seen my videos before and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and put on the occasion bell so that you know when I put up a new video. I'm an African inspired right to wear fashion designer based here in Lagos, Nigeria, and I've been in business for over 10 years. So here on my channel, I talk about starting a business, starting a clothing brand, being a fashion designer, all things business, all things fashion, and sometimes, once in a while, I talk about my life. So here in today's video, I'll be talking about the three most important things you need to have a successful business. So you may be watching this video because you already have a business or you are just about to start a business and you want to know the three things that literally, literally make a business successful. So like I said, I am a fashion designer. I make my designs and I sell my designs in my store and that is what I've done for over 10 years. I've learned a lot about business and I am very knowledgeable about running a business. And over the years, I have learned that there are certain things that are very, very important to the success of a business. Everyone wants to have a successful business. Nobody wants to run a business that is going to fail. Nobody wants to start a business and then have to close the business after a while. We all want to run businesses that are successful. But at the same time, there are certain things that need to be in place and there are certain things that we need to do to keep our businesses successful and running. A lot of the time, is not just about having the best product in the market. You find people that have the best product in the market, but their businesses aren't doing very well because certain things are missing or lacking. And on the other hand, you find some people who run businesses or who have businesses that they don't have the best product in the market, but they're doing so, so, so well. You know, they have customers, they have customers that are really, really committed to their brand, committed to their product, and would recommend them any day, any time. And that is what most business owners are looking for. A lot of people think when you start a business, you know, because you have, you know, a lot of people that would refer other people to your business or because your business is in a certain location, you're going to make a lot of money and you're going to have a lot of customers and the like. It doesn't always work that way. There are people that have different things that can bring bring in a lot of money from them, a lot of money into their business or a lot of customers to their business. But at the end of the day, it's not consistent. It doesn't last. Having a good product or service is very good. It's very important, but it's not the only thing that is required to have a successful business. And a lot of people also think that, you know, on social media, when you see a lot of people with so many um, followers, so many influencers, it means that you know their businesses are successful. It's not always the case. A, a whole lot of likes does not equate to a successful business. A whole bunch of followers, a whole bunch of subscribers doesn't equate to a successful business every single time. So the first thing that is required to have a successful business, whatever industry that you are in, whether you are selling a product or a service, it is very, very important that you make your business known. And what do I mean by making your business known? Marketing your business, putting the word out there about your business, what your business is all about, what your business does, how your business makes a difference, how your business is a solution to somebody somewhere. And this has to be a continuous message. You can never ever stop marketing your business. You need to continue to market your business. There are businesses that have lasted for so, 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 so many years. And even till this very day, they market their business, they put the word out there about their business. They put the word out there about what their business stands for, what the, the values of their business is, and the needs of people that it can meet. Or so there are different ways of putting the word out there about your business there are different ways of marketing your business i have a couple of videos on my channel where 
I talk about how to market your business. Some of them I talk about how to market your clothing brand. They all kind of work in the same way. So you can watch some of these videos and they will give you pointers on how to start, on how to market your business effectively. I'll put a link up there and I will also put a link in the description as well. Are you enjoying my video? Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and put on the notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video. Another thing that is required to have a successful business is when people that know your business, they know what your business is all about, when they like your business. There are different things people like about different businesses. It could be the product they're offering or the service that they're offering. It could be their customer service. It could be literally anything. But whatever it is that you know that your customers like about your business, you need to remain consistent with it because this is what is making them like you, is what is making them like your business. Without whatever it is that they like about your business, they are nowhere to be found around you. So for example, let's take social media. There are some people that they are very good at marketing their businesses on social media. And they are people that enjoy watching their videos or looking at their pictures and things like that. You need to continue to engage your audience. You need to continue to engage your customers. This is what they like about your business. Because these are also ways that you turn certain people into paying customers. You need to continue to engage them. This is very important that you continue to engage them. You find out that sometimes some businesses, once they hit their mark and they become really, really big, they don't feel the need to do certain things anymore. And people start losing interest in their business. You'll be surprised that the most little thing can turn a customer away from your business, regardless of how much the customer likes your business or how much the customer has spent in your business. So your customers need to like you. Your customers need to like your business. It is very important for the success of your business. The third thing that is required for a successful business is trust. Trust is the most important of all the things I've spoken about, trust is literally the most important. Because when you have customers or when you have people that can trust your business, it's one of the best things ever. When people trust your business, they are willing to put out the word for you. They are willing to market your business for you without them even knowing that they are marketing for you. When people trust your business, they are willing to give you their money. When people trust your business, they are willing to give you their money, bring their friends and families to come and give you their money. When people trust your business, they feel very secure. They know that whatever it takes, their money is not gonna go missing. Whatever it takes, you will always deliver what you have said deliver. Trust is very important in business. Between businesses and between businesses and customers, trust is literally important. It's the most important thing. And if there is trust, if you're able to build trust with your customers, trust me, your business can be even more successful than you can ever imagine. It is very, very important. When customers trust you, Trust will always give you repeat customers or repeat clients. Trust is very, very, very important. You find that there the, the are businesses that when they market to people, when a customer now comes to give them their money, what they get is different from what was communicated. So for example, you see all those funny pictures of what I asked for and what I got or what, um, I this and what I got. I know, I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. I don't really know how they put it, but yes. You don't want to have that kind of situation in your business, whereby you put it out there that this is what your business is about. Your business is about quality. Your business is about this. Your business is about that. And when they come to do business with you, 
what they get is different from what they were told. Or if it is the case of a product, what they have bought is different from what they saw. Or maybe you have told a customer or your customers that they should expect quality from you and where they come, what they get, or what they have bought, when they get to their houses or wherever they go, they realize that you know the quality of whatever it is that you're selling is substandard. You don't really want that. That alone will drive customers away from you, literally. Let me give you a clear example. I went somewhere to buy something. I've been seeing this shop for a long time. I've been seeing it and seeing it and seeing it. Then this day I decided to go in and go and make a purchase. They were really nice to me. They were very polite. They were very everything. Customer service was just good, just right. And I buy this thing and I go home. And to my surprise, the quality was terrible. The quality was so bad. It was so bad that I had to call them and tell them that, look, I'll be there tomorrow morning to return this thing that I have bought. They said, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Bring it back. Then I take it back. Then they gave me another one. I go away with another one. I get home. It's still bad. Not as bad as the first one or the previous one, but it's still bad. Then I go back again and say, this thing is bad. Then they say, oh, please, we don't know what's happening. Um, just give us like um, three weeks. And I'm like, three weeks? To <laughs> get what I want to buy from you that you have already displayed so much in your store? Please, I would like a refund. They were very reluctant, but eventually I got my money. But what am I trying to say? Whatever it is that you have marketed to people, or you have displayed, or advertised, or you have promoted, whatever the case may be to people, please be consistent in your message to your customers because that can spoil a business, especially if it is something that happens a lot to different customers. Is a different thing if it happens to one customer when the customers are getting so, so, so many and having the same kind of bad experience. <sighs> so my video for today is done. Hope you learned a thing or two from my video. If you enjoyed watching my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and put on the notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video. And so I will see you soon. Bye.